Okay, this is a 14 inch cut quick saw. First thing you want to do as soon as you bring it back, go ahead and take the blade off. And put a new blade on. Try to take it off, just loosen up this bolt. Take the whole blade off, throw it away. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and put a new blade on there. Some of them differ. This is a 20 millimeter arbor. Our diamond blade is a one inch arbor. You'll be able to tell the difference. This blade itself will not fit on a, a one inch arbor. Put that back on, screw it back in, and then tighten it back down. Next thing you want to do, since it's going to be dirty from coming back, you want to clean it. Basically, you just take an air gun and spray it out. After that, you want to check the air filter. Take those sheet bolts out. Just them all the way up. Check the air filter. Next thing you do, loosen these two up so you can pull it out. And then pull the filter out. Checking the air filter here is like checking all the other filters. You want to hold it up to light and see if you can see light through it. These things get very dirty. The most time you clean them out. This is how you clean them out. You're just gonna bat them up against the table. Try to get as much dust off of them you can. You never want to blow air through this, so never want to do that. Put it back in. Tighten this back down. Tighten all these back down, make sure they're secure and tight. Next, you want to check the gas. We always fill everything up here with our own gas before it goes out as we search them. Loosen that up. Fill it up. Now this 14 inch Husqvarna takes this black can. It's got a Pacific oil guard system in it where if it don't read this kind of oil, it will not run. So I only use a black can for the Husqvarna cut quicks. Fill that up. Tighten it back down. Next thing you want to do, you want to check the belts. There's an easy way to check the belts. There's a little hole right there. Stick your finger in there and just turn the blade. And feel it with your finger. If you feel any type of rips or anything like that, you want to go ahead and take it off and inspect it visually. Right there, everything's good with us. Next, we want to start it. You always want to make sure to start it on the ground. That will start. There's an on-off switch right here. What you do is hold it back in right there where it is. You lock your throttle three points. You pull your blue switch out, your choke switch. And you have a fuel primer here. Press it a few times, prime it up. This blue button right here is a decompression button. What it does, it makes pull corp a whole lot easier. Press that in. You're gonna pull this a couple times, it's gonna act like it's gonna start, uh, but it's not gonna fully kick over. So what you do then is after it does that, you're gonna press your choke back in, and then press your decompression button back in too. Best it makes that noise. Press that back in, press that back in. After that, you want to check the pull cord. What you do is press your blue button back in, pull your pull cord all the way out. You want to check visually for any type of rips or tears or anything like that. 
over time they'll eventually start getting bad and you have to replace them. This one right here is still good. And that's basically it. After that you want to blue tag it.